What's up ladies and gentlemen? So we are gonna do another workout with the TRX. Remember, if you don't have a TRX specifically, you can use a different brand that you can get off the internet, or you can even use gymnastics rings. Very, very, very simple. I'm gonna try and get this one done fairly fast because I know that the sun over in the corner is gonna cause a glare on the camera every now and then. Right now, I'm hoping it looks artistic and it doesn't get in the way. As always, we're gonna do a complex, all the exercises back to back with no rest. You can do 10 reps, 15 reps, or 20 reps, depending on how hard you wanna go through the workout. For this video, I'm gonna do 10 to demonstrate, and then you can do whatever you want afterwards. We're gonna do a rear foot elevated split squat, a push up, a single leg squat, a pec fly, TRX crunch with a twist, we're gonna do a triceps extension and finish off with a squat jump. If you have a slippery floor, you might wanna put something down to help you, um, just in case, bit of extra safety. As I say, end to end without any breaks and then we rest for one to two minutes at the end. You repeat for between five and 10 total rounds. First thing we're gonna do, rear foot elevated split squat. So you can either link them together like we showed you in the other video or you can just place your foot straight through there, which should be just as easy. The further you go away from this to start with on this exercise, especially the more it's gonna hit the glute. We don't necessarily wanna do that today. The previous workout was more posterior chain dominant. So this time, stay fairly close and we're gonna try and load the quad. So we're gonna go 10 reps, straight down, straight up. In three, two, one, down, and one. And this time we're trying to load the toe just a little bit on that front foot. Three, again, if you have a rucksack full of water bottles, four, five, you can add weight to this. If you have dumbbells, six, you can add weight to this. Seven, if you have a child that you can throw on your back. Eight, two more. Nine, just make sure you don't fall over. <laughs> 10, now other leg. So again, support yourself, get your balance, place your foot through the bottom stirrup, like so. We got it, and then same thing again. So we drop down 10 reps. One, two, three, four. As you'll see with this, it does challenge your balance. Five, it's gonna make your hips work hard. Six which is a nice change in stimulus. Seven, three more. Eight, nine, and 10, done. Next up, we're gonna do a push-up. Now, you have options here. You can either do a push-up where your feet are on the floor, or you can challenge yourself a little bit more, and you can pop your feet in the TRX like I am. So one in each stirrup, and then to a push-up position. I've got a bad wrist, so I'm gonna do mine on my knuckles, but you can do them however you choose. So we go to there, and then we go down, nice and smooth to the ground, all the way up, keeping our body solid. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Keeping the elbows fairly close to the body. Nine, 10, push-ups done. We come out, we're gonna go for a single leg squat. So we turn around now and we face the anchor point. We plant our foot nice and firmly on the floor, we lift the other one up ahead of us, and then down we go. One, two, three, four, five. Imagine pushing your foot forwards, six, to get that quad working. Seven, eight, nine, and 10. Boom. Next up, other leg. Three, two, one, foot up, lower yourself down, one. Two, three, four, five, six. Squeeze that quad. Seven, make it work. Eight, nine, one more. There's 10. Next up, we're gonna flip back round. Second chest exercise. We're gonna do a pec fly. So it's important with this that you go within your capabilities. The lower you go, the more tension it's gonna place on your pecs. So start up a bit higher, and then as you progress, you can go further back towards the anchor point. So palms facing in, good grip, open out, and then squeeze up, flexing the pecs. Open out, squeeze up, two, three. Take some shoulder stability, so be careful. Four, constant control. Five, six, don't let it run away with you. Seven, eight, remember if you feel any pain, you stop. Nine, 10, must always train responsibly. Next one, TRX crunch with twist. So what we're gonna do, we get our feet back in those stirrups, like so. Both legs, 
keep them nice and even. Once it goes in, we're gonna come down to a plank position, elbows or hands, your choice. I'm gonna go elbows because of my wrist. From this position, I'm gonna bring my knees to my opposite elbow. One and one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, ten, and down. Ab crunch done. Next up, triceps. So we walk below the anchor point, we take the handles, and what we're gonna do is lean into it, bring our elbows up in front of our eyes. Imagine you being Superman. We're then gonna flex at the elbows, lowering ourselves down, stretching the triceps, and squeeze back out. Again, the lower you go, the harder this is. Two, three, Four, squeezing those triceps. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, and 10. Triceps done. Next up, final exercise, little metabolic blast, squat jump. So soft landings, we're not trying to jump crazy high. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Boom. That's round one done. Rest for a minute to two minutes now, and then repeat for between five and ten total rounds. Enjoy.